Okay, folks, let's get started. Um, it's pretty late, but I really need to knock these guys out. This is uh, finishing up my Scottish Knights, and the uh, only thing I was able to do so far on, um, well, it was yesterday morning, uh, I was able to paint um, all of the basing in uh, the first of the three colors. So we need to see if we can knock these guys out and be done with them. So. Oh, lovely. Somehow I've, uh, I've shot so many videos lately that um, the settings that I have on my camera thing are all whacked and uh, this thing's kind of loose. So uh, maybe it's time to upgrade this, uh, this little stand I have. If we can knock out these, uh, these knights. So. Oh, and of course this is dry. Well, I'm not so worried about this right now because uh, yeah, Tony's phone's been drinking. No shit. Um, I feel like I've been drinking. I got like four hours of sleep last night, maybe. Stayed up way too late. But, um, and then still woke up at five because, well, it's inflexible Monday. I'm not going to go up. I'm not uh, gonna wake up in the morning and go straight to work. I gotta at least have an hour. All right. So let's see if we can knock out these uh, these knights today. And um, that way we can get to the um, light horse now. Those just that are just joining us, Probably did not notice that I put a second video up, and um, that's because I finally got the banners in for the Irish, finally. So, um, luckily they did not come in yesterday, because I had mentioned it would have made me upset if they would have come in on game night, but they didn't. They came in today, so... Catch a glimpse of them. And uh, so we're going to finish the basing on the, man, I must have moved everything out of the way here because all the stuff I normally keep here, it's gone. Like my little metal thing that, uh, what is that? Well, you don't show up. I'll just use your replacement with what I used to use before. my little metal thing to work really well for me. Here it is. You son of a bitch. What are you doing down here? Now, if I'd been drinking, I'd fall asleep tonight. All right, let's get out of the two colors. That's not it. It's everybody's favorite game. That's not it. U.S. Field Drab and Iraqi Sands, the other one. There we go. Only I know it's Iraqi Sand because the number rubbed off of it. Really, the only complaint I have about Vallejo is their, uh, their names don't stick on these things very well. You can't even read the number or nothing, but I know which one it is. Okay. Let's get our crappy dry brushing brush. did that unboxing video uh, this morning and I had to push, I think, everything out of the way so everything's not where it's supposed to be. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I can't get hardly any painting done Monday through Friday. 
at all. It's that's why I'm trying to do so much over the weekends, because Monday through Friday, I can't, you know, waking up, having breakfast, going to the bathroom, checking email, doing my play by email game, and then you know I'm lucky if I have 20 minutes to paint. So almost not worth it. It will most of the time it's not worth it. So um, all right. Now, did something pop here? Nah, if it did, it didn't. What I mean by popped is, um, you know, you put this paint down and then after a little while, it, uh, well, a little bubble pops. Well, let's see if I can fix this lighting because the lighting is pretty brutal. Mm. So once we're done with this guy, we've got a light horse channel to do. I'm gonna start working on some auxilia. I'm either gonna do some auxilia or the blade ally, one of the two. The blade ally meaning the Scots Isles and Highlands, the figures that are based on the chess set of uh, Isle of Lewis. So, um, so. As much as I would love to start the next project, I'm not. We're going to finish this one completely. And um, we'll see if we'll finish up the Russians after this. It's uh, it's too hard to say at this point. On one hand, it'd be nice to have that army finished. Uh, on the other hand, I've, I've got my sights set on other things. We will see. So just um, going all the way around here in this U.S. field drab from Vallejo. I'm going to have to get in there with a smaller brush and some of this actually kind of watery to get close to the legs of the horse. I don't want to get too close with the dry brushing because you don't want this to sp splash back up on the horse. I mean, you're not painting an armored vehicle like a tank or something. Well, you can do it however you want. I'm just telling you why I'm not doing it. There you go. I don't care if other people don't do things the same way I do. It's, it's, you know, it's a free country. It used to be a free country. <laughs> In my mind, it's a free country. So that's about as close as I'm going to be able to get. It doesn't get caked on because we. We don't want to, even though we're not using the best brushes to dry brush with, we don't need to use a brush that we're going to destroy and never be able to dry brush with it again. So let's, uh, let's not get one of our best brushes, okay, but one that, uh, you know, knows how to, uh, yeah, something like this one should be fine. And we're going to take that same color. And um, why does this chat box stay up? Okay. Um, same color, but we're going to leave it pretty watery. Okay. And the reason for that is, is I want to, um, I want to have some of this color down here, but I, but I don't want it to be dry brushed because I'm going to invariably get it up on the sides of the horse. And I really don't, that's not really what I'm going for. So. And we'll do this kind of we'll do this kind of situation with the next color up as well, which is that Iraqi sand. We want to get some of that Iraqi sand underneath in here, but we don't want to get it in there by dry brushing because when you dry brush it, you're just you're going to get it everywhere. So get it everywhere using the brush I was using. So. videos up on the uh, YouTube channel today. Uh, one of them is an unboxing that I did this morning. Uh, 
some games last night, and uh, he wanted he brought some figures for me to do an unboxing for him. So we filmed that. I couldn't do it last night because I didn't get to bed till about one, and I just didn't have it in me. That's a sign that you're uh, almost six pounds of lead, and uh, you can handle waiting to open it the following morning. <laughs> Twenty years ago, I would have been like, no, I would have uh, I would have gone all through that. But uh, no, we waited till this morning. And uh, so if you watch that video and you're wondering why my voice sounds a little different, uh, it's because uh, I'm trying to be quiet. Um, I don't want to wake the, I don't want to wake the other people I live in the house with. So, um, cause I usually have no trouble being speaking loud. So, um, not hung over or nothing or Tony's not on drugs or nothing. So. Only drink, except caffeine, and I was, I was on that this morning trying to stay awake, so. Okay, I think that's enough to get in there. Make sure. Maybe let's go up here. If, if you're not really happy with this stuff, you know, to, to uh, fix your goofs. You know, it's not really the goofs, but you know, you put whatever your ground coverage in it, like in this particular, this one dries and then you wake up in the morning and then it's like, oh my gosh, it's receded from the areas I thought it was. And now I need to put more down. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not putting more. I'm not starting this whole process. So it is what it is. So, all right, so that's done. Now um, we're going to dry brush our Iraqi sand or the color known as Iraqi sand. Like there's only this color there. So yeah, go check out those two videos. Got an unboxing and um, not the banner ones. The unboxing one's about 20 minutes long. Um, banner one's very short, so. All right, this is the one that we're gonna get around the legs. No, it's not. Which one of these is the one we're dry brushing with? This one. Get all the moisture you can off this thing. Yeah, starting painting at about nine. So, but I do want to knock these guys out. See, what can we see in here that we have missed, perhaps? Okay, now, I don't think I gotta get underneath a horse. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Let's, uh, let's see what we got around here. It just kind of evens out the colors. So you've got a, it blending into the basic, No. Let's 
let's get the black paint. The cheap black paint. So put this over here. I probably would not put this on the wet palette, but we'll go ahead and put it on there. Big old turd. All we're going to do is paint the edge, and we definitely need to use a little tool for that. Okay. Well, I guess I can get to tilt this up so you guys can see. three in the morning I just I can't do it I'm better off trying to wake up at three in the morning than stay up till it all right one side down And even though this is some of the cheapest paint I have, because all this is is craft paint to paint the edges black, that's all I use it for. I use, well, I use craft paint if I'm gonna like build terrain or something like that. Like the hills I have for these DVA hills that I repainted, that's all in, um, that's all in, in this craft paint. Because you don't wanna pay a pretty penny for for this kind of paint that doesn't, uh, it doesn't cover well and, you know, so, um, I don't mind having, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I'm definitely sleep provided, I, pro, uh, deprived. Yeah, I'm not drinking coffee, so. Okay, we've got to let this dry a little bit. So these guys are done. And one thing I didn't notice is, is um, so what I do for sealing these guys is, I spray gloss, let that dry, spray flat, let that dot dry. And I'm just talking about just regular spray cans. And then when I'm done, I end up brush painting with, this is what I used originally. This is Model Master Flat Clear Lacquer Finish. It is a mineral spirits based thing, so it's it's an enamel because there's some lacquers out there that are water based, but this is this is a non water based uh, lacquer. You got to use the uh, brush cleaner or uh, enamel thinner brush cleaner, whatever. To, to to carrying this one at the store, there's a big to do about um, uh, these guys got bought. A testers got bought up by Rust Oleum, and I think there comes that uh, you know our um, repeats so i don't see this in the store anymore now i went to this which is kind of the same thing except it's a it's a supposedly more generic brand because this is just a tester's brand dull 
uh, top coat, dull coat, instead of the model master. So, um, anyhow, this is this one is pretty darn thick. So I when I went to the store the other day, I said, hey, I wonder if there's a, you know, after time things, you know, they don't uh, flow as well. So this is really thick. This one's thick like honey. Now it didn't used to be, and this one is, uh, you know, just like regular paint. So. But anyhow, that's uh, that's the system that I use. But um, I had uh, over the weekend, I had sold these guys and I'd give it afterwards, and uh, it was still not getting rid of the shine. But I think after a couple of days of it sitting there, it's because uh, that's what we want. So, um, mineral spirits will cut it. Yeah, yeah, but I don't need to cut it. I just I'll just use the. Um, the brush milky, but that's the only thing it's ever been used for. So I don't want to contaminate it with um, a black tint. Now, what stinks about this stuff? Uh, if you go over it and uh, and brush it on, um, it starts getting tacky. You can't go over it again until it's completely dry. You'll have a mess in your hands. So, um, like you've got to go over it and then just there he is, and just go like top to bottom and work your way around the figure. And hopefully get everything and if you don't you know after that dries do it again kind of thing so but i'm not going to need this for the next stage i'm lazy i spray matte i do too but i do this um i discovered uh you know loss a mat and a brush mat um, make some even flatter. So, I had this stuff. I'm like, nah, I'll go ahead and use it. I'm not sure why I bought this stuff, but it wasn't because of, of doing this particular task. All right, we're going to need this Elmer's. So we're going to need to pick out some tufts. Why is Amazon? Why does it say Amazon keeps closing? I'm not even on there. The mysteries of the internet that no one can answer. The mysteries of the internet. I know there was two leftover tufts here. I'm going to look for them for a little bit. Here they are. That one. That one. Gaber's grass, man. Smoking some gamers grass. Okay, let's have that one. This one. Should be good with that. how far we can get because man I'm like I'm ready for bed now no more let's see here where did this go okay normally I wouldn't do this but I'm gonna put the Elmer's right there so I can handle it quickly and a brush I can use for that let's see we're going to clean it, but still. Uh, 
I'm just going to put this around here kind of randomly. Okay, once we're done with that, we can come in here and grab, shake this up because there's different colors in here and you want them to be kind of mixed up. Now, there's my tweezers. Just run that over a little bit. Okay, now let's see where we can put some of this shrubbery. One that's not too expensive. spot here. Let's fill that vacancy with a big one, like that one. Okay, there you have it. I feel like such a hard box dropping everything. Now, there is one thing missing, and that's the flag. So, I'm not going to do the aluminum foil thing. I just don't have it in me to do it. So 
you know, way that way. I'm not going to go there. I've never done it before and I've been fine. I'm not opposed to doing it. I'm just, that's, that's one step too far for me at this point. So we've got one or two flags to put on there. We're either going to put this big one here. Or we're going to put the more reasonable, this one. And I think this is what we're going to go with. Okay. So around here somewhere, I know I'm not going to be able to find it now. I had a little cork. Okay. I had a little piece of cork. Uh, like a, and it may still be here. Should be here. You know, a little cork like this. Okay. Except this is not that one. I'll use that one if it comes down to it. And what it had on it was a needle on it. And the reason there was a needle on it was that I could assemble a flag without having to use it on the exact flagpole and then slip it out. So we're going to find ourselves a needle, of which I should have a shit ton of. Now, I want to use one that's bigger than the one that's already there. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, almost huge. Perfect. Now, for good measure, let's, uh, let's file down the edge so I don't end up drawing blood. All right. I wonder where that went to. All right, we can't use that hole there. Let's use a different one. All right. I had something like this floating around. I just don't know where the hell it is. And I certainly don't want to go looking for it right now. All right, let's get the nights out of right here. I'm sure there's other ways to do what I'm about to do, but. All right. All right. Make sure these edges line up pretty close. They do. And what I'm going to do is get this on the edges. that's what we want to line up. Okay, now we're going to pop this open, so we've got more space in there, so we've got more space in there, and then lightly, to use a Mitchism, Make sure we don't seal this whole thing up. And as we get closer to the edge, we 
I'm going to start putting some in there. All right, then I'm not using this thing. Um, There you go. Yes, it could be wavier. It works for me. I'll come back here and paint the edge of the of the of the flag black. There you have it. Okay. And that flag is one that uh, a friend of mine gave me a JPEG of. I put it on the drawing pro program, blew it up really big, and proceeded to draw on it with my own painting style, except I'm doing it in a uh, computer program, which was a lot of fun, by the way. It's the first time I've ever done that. So instead of it looking, I still have one of the other ones. Yeah, instead of it looking like this, Nope. Yeah, this is one of them. Looks like this. The lighting's terrible in here. The lighting's actually good in here. It's just the camera is just being a bitch. This camera is just not, not getting the... So, it's, it's got creation and... It actually looks like cloth, you know. Anyhow, so let's let's look at the folks, okay? Got these guys done. Let's look at them. God, this chair bitches a lot. Can't wait to get rid of it. It's not uncomfortable. It just every time I I switch positions in it. Let's put these guys over here. Let's uh, put the Scots right next to him. There you have it. There's Edward the Bruce. Reading the Scottish pikeman and yeah. This army can have either this knight general as a leader or this light horse, which is what we're going to roll into next. So the light horse is what's going to be next. And we've got this figure just about done. Okay. We couldn't finish it because we're going to have to put uh, the flagpole there that his flag is going to be carrying. Okay. Um, and I didn't know that because I didn't know what size the flags are going to be. Well, the flags came in today from Little Big Man Studios. Little Big Men Studios. I always want to call it Little Big Man Studios. Little Big Men Studios. And um, these are like their decals. The way they work is there's like a clear coating here. So what you do is you cut out the decal you want to use. Like let's say you want to use this decal here. You you cut it with the paper. So piece out. And then I would peel this top cover and press it flat down on a, on a white piece of paper. So, I mean, I could even use this here, just a piece of copy paper. So I take this decal put it face down. And then the back side of this looks like this. Okay, it's just like a decal paper. 
and then you take some water and you gently go over it and it releases. So it's weird, actually, they're reverse copied inside out. It's, it's the back side. You're actually never gonna see the side you, you have that underneath this. But the part that makes it weird is you've got a decal that's backed by paper, which does not do well when it gets wet and you have to wet it to get it to release. So you, you can use water, but you just can't use too much water. You're gonna have a mess on your hands. So anyways, that's, uh, that's how these things work. Now, the ones I have for the Russians, uh, I did one Russian flag. Okay. I, and I don't know if you can tell, they're kind of glossy. That's what they look like out of the, out of the scenario, out of, right out of the, uh, I'm going to dull, I'm going to paint it with some dull coat, but I don't want to use this one. Okay. Cause I only have like one flag or something. So I'll, that's not what I really bought this for. Like maybe this banner down here. Okay. This small one and just see how it reacts to being painted with dull coat. I don't want to find out that it frosts it after I've used, um, one of these banners that I really like for my army and then I can't use it again. I have to order it again because this took forever to get these guys here. Seemed like it got, um, well, they mailed it really quick, but just getting through the mail took like three weeks. So, um, thanks to the current, this is, uh, Edward the Bruce. So with, uh, John Stewart and, uh, John DeSalee with a flag. So, Anyhow, that's them. We gotta see, get some better pictures of these guys uh, when we have uh, out in the yard. So, natural light can't beat natural light. But anyhow, um, that's a wrap. I'm done for the night. So, uh, but anyhow, watch those two videos. Uh, well, you don't have, probably don't have to watch this one now because hey, surprise! This is what they look like. But. Uh, I do have an unboxing video of some lead that was uh, gifted to me yesterday, and uh, we're going to use some of that on the uh, on the next project. What the next project is, well, you guys will just have to stick around, and when I'm done with these, uh, we'll we'll jump right in it. Now, I'm still going to be, even though it looks like the Irish are done, I could actually play them at this stage right now. Okay. Uh, the way that the stage that they're at right now, I'd be able to play them. Now, you wouldn't use all the elements because if you use the two pipe and it replaces two of the blades, but uh, I could use the three blades and not use the two pipe and that kind of thing. I can play them in the situation that they're in right now, but um, I'm probably not going to play them until I have all their options built. So we've got a light horse general. We're also going to do that's these strand, these three guys right here and the doggo. Um, that's what's next because uh, I want to get these, you know, both my options as well. So, um, the what else we got auxilia we can build for them three um we're gonna do all that stuff before we move on to the next project because the next project um well I'm pro it's probably gonna take me a while to paint them so um but anyhow that's it for tonight i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it uh don't forget to uh subscribe and uh Hit that bell there so you get notified when I come online. If watching videos is one of those things that you like to do, well, why am I why am I twisting this thing around when it just does this? Geez, I'm so ignorant sometimes. Anyhow, this is uh, yeah, this is them. We will have to do this outside in the better lighting. So it's it's not that the lighting's better; it's just attacking it from all angles as opposed to here where it's only coming from one direction and it seems to be washing it out on the phone. So. But anyhow, uh, that's it. We'll, uh, we'll catch you guys later. Have a good night, folks. Bye-bye.